Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to remap the Bixby button on your Samsung Galaxy S10 and the S10 Plus. Now, before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Socky Tech Online also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. So in the past, when you went into your Bixby settings, you were unable to remap the Bixby button. You could either disable it or just use it to launch Bixby. With the latest Bixby update on the S10 and the S10 Plus, we can now in fact do that. So there's a couple ways to get it done. The easiest way to do it is to go into the settings and then go into advanced features. And over here, you will see an option known as the Bixby key. You tap on that. And as you can see, you have two options. So these are kind of tricky. Uh, you can either single press to open Bixby and then use the double press on the Bixby key over here to launch another application. So if I enable this, I can tap on open an app and then I can pick any app that I want. And now what's gonna happen is uh, if I single press the Bixby button, it is going to open Bixby as you can see. But if I double tap it, it is going to launch the calculator as you just saw. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can go back into the settings over there under advanced features. You can tap on double press to open Bixby and then use the single press to open something else. By the way, if you tap over here, you'll see you have the open app option over here. You uh, choose an option you want. And again, you can pick anything that you want, such as a calendar, camera, or whatever. On top of that, you can run a quick Bixby command. So if I uh, choose this option, I can go into my settings and then I can go to my quick commands for Bixby and use any one of these quick commands that will run a bunch of batch settings for you when you're pressing that button once or twice based on your preference. For example, if I were to use this one over here, uh, I can choose the I am driving option and that's going to automatically do three things. Turn on Bluetooth, turn off Wi-Fi and play commute playlist. All right. So that's something you can do with the Bixby button as well, either open an app or run a quick command. But as you can see, there is no way to uh, not use Bixby. So either you single press to open Bixby and the double press opens an app, or you double press to open Bixby, which is great, and you use single press to open another app that you want. And of course, this is probably the feature most people are going to end up choosing. Now let me show you one more thing while we are here. Uh, if I double press this thing over here, uh, and we go into the actual Bixby. From here, you can also go to the settings and access the Bixby key right from here and do the same exact thing as you can see, okay? So this is just another way to access Bixby. And finally, if you press and hold the button, that is always going to launch Bixby Voice. So if I press and hold this, it is gonna allow me to talk to Bixby as you can see, all right? So that's when you can ask Bixby about the weather, uh, or other things that you're able to do, including the quick commands. So just remember, there are three functions to this key, single press function, double press function, and press and hold function, all right? So that's Bixby on your Galaxy S10 and the S10 Plus. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button, and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.